Being a medium that is full of tons of stories based around schools, there is no surprise that there are tons of school bullies in the anime realm. Doesn't matter whether it's an emotional or physical bullying, it's still the most horrible thing someone can do. Bullying in anime tends to go wrong in the most satisfying and bloodiest ways possible. Sometimes it gets too intense and the victim just couldn't handle the pain anymore. Seeing them get the revenge can be more satisfying than taking a cold shower on a hot day. Here are the moments in anime where the bullies got what they deserve. But before we start, be sure to subscribe to our channel and press on that bell icon and set us all to be notified about our latest videos. Coming in at number 7, we have Saki-chan Fruit Basket 2019. Reflecting on Saki's past, she was gifted with psychic abilities that could sense people's waves and send out electric waves. As a young soul, she had a hard time controlling her abilities. The bullies just make everything worse, but they deserved it anyways. This pure innocent girl goes to school just to be called a witch. Those bullies just won't leave her alone. Poor girl couldn't even enjoy a meal. It's like she's living in hell, being forced to eat living animals or literally being burned or scarred by supposedly what you could call classmates but are absolute bitches and devils. Enough is enough! Everything has a limit. It's time for my girl to get her revenge. It wasn't the most satisfying revenge, but for real though. Seeing those bullies suffer and be in pain was more entertaining than watching fight scenes in most shonen anime. Not to mention it was so badass when Saki snapped. She wishes death upon them. I honestly wish Saki had done more than this because the bullies truly deserve to live a life in hell. <laughs> Coming in at number 6 we have Magical Girl Raising Project. Seriously though, what is up with Magical Girl's anime and giving them a dark past? Kano is one of the most badass characters with such a dark backstory, which made us understand why she became so violent these days. I can't believe the audacity those bullies have to even compare her to her mother. Poor girl goes to school just to get called ugly names and be molested by her own classmates. I honestly thought that she would get some peace at home, but I was wrong. Her lecherous stepfather only stacks upon another layer of pressure in her life. Just like I said, everything has a limit. And boy, was it beyond satisfying when she finally snapped and gave those bullies a nice punch in the face. She dropped! Come quick! Especially the moment she kicked that pervert. Bro, this is a good example of why you shouldn't underestimate a woman. Coming in at number 5, we have Rika-chan Higurashi, When They Cry, Rei. Violence is never the answer. But apparently in this show it is. I really do like Satoko, but the Satoko of this world had it coming. I'd call it the karmic justice delivered in response to her bitchy attitude. It's hilarious how she got beaten up twice in the classroom with chairs. Once, thanks to Shion, and now thanks to Rika. It's pretty much understandable that Satoko acts like this because of her abusive family but it doesn't give her permission to hurt other people. The scene is always amusing to me, but it always strikes me how out of character it is for Rika. She was, from my point of view, always a deep thinker with a lot of inner monologue. Here, she just loses it and demonstrates pure violence. I can tell that this is everyone's favorite scene in Higurashi. <laughs> It gets even more intense the moment Rika's voice changes when she gets serious. Honestly, this scene deserves a spot in oddly satisfying compilations. At number 4 we have Aya Asagiri, Magical Sight Girl. I don't understand why it always has to be the soft and gentle looking lolly girl who has to go through such a horrible experience in life. Aya getting herself into trouble with having her ruined school shoes in the locker 
having your school table vandalized, drowned in the toilet, being punched, kicked, and even choked by your brother Kaname, who wants Aya to help him relieve his stress from his father's expectations. She has no reason for them to treat her like a harmless punching bag. Thanks to the magical girl side that gave her a toy gun with a heart barrel, she was able to save herself. <laughs> <laughs> and not just that, karma is real, bro. It doesn't take long for it to happen either. In a split second, those psychopaths will run over by a train. In my opinion, they do deserve death, but it would be more entertaining to see them being tormented and suffered day by day until death. Not a quick one like this, but I hope that once they're in hell, they would get horribly tortured and never come back to Earth again. Coming in at number 3, we have Hiroko from Shadow Star Narutaru. Here comes the show where the main character has gone mad and loses control. People bully the wrong people, and little do they know, Karma is always coming and following them. After being told she is forbidden to talk to Sheena, her only best friend, in a frenzied turn of events, Hiroko unleashes her dragon child into the world. All sense of judgment clouded by her anger, Hiroko uses her hulking beast to take revenge on her overbearing parents, on the bullies who made her life hell, and perhaps even all of mankind. Although the revenge moment on Aki was kind of disgusting and, well, disturbing to watch. In all the sense of disturbing, it was somewhat satisfying to see what happened to Aki, and her brother being collateral in the process was kind of a bonus. <laughs> Speaking of her oppressive dad, he certainly deserved what was coming for him. Coming in at number two, we have Renee Bellinetta, Vivid Strike. Here's another reason not to understand the victim of the bullies. Those maniacs didn't see it coming when they break an important memento of her grandfather and physically prevented her from seeing her grandfather before he passed away. Worst of all, they destroyed her phone when her mother called. An already emotionally vulnerable Renee finally snaps and goes all Doomslayer on her three bullies at school the next day. inflicting multiple fractures and leaving them severely traumatized. I love that ferocious aggression coming from Renee. Watching that sweet revenge surely sent chills down my spine. Those obnoxious bitches had to mess with her at the wrong time and I don't know about you, but even with how savage it was, it was kind of satisfying. Isn't a lost arm, a concussed head, and another concussed head a fair trade for a grandfather passing away? When you put someone through hell like that, don't be surprised if they come back at you as a demon. If you are expecting cute Moe stuff from Vivid Strike, boy, your expectation is way too high. This is not your typical Aero Manga Sensei type of anime. Hentai. And number one goes to Lucy, Elfin Lead. Hey, bullying a person, hurting them emotionally and physically is already bad enough, right? But killing their innocent puppy? Bro, that's fucked up. Especially when they're like, 11. How can a kid that age go this far and be so heartless? I can't even kill a cockroach, bro. These psychopaths call her mean things like horns and says she's not human, but the thing they did to her, the thing they did to that puppy, that poor little puppy, the poor pupper, they are more inhuman than her. Do they not have mercy? But just like I mentioned before, karma 
is a bitch. It's like a boomerang. Whatever you do, it will always come back to you. Just like these cold-blooded and soulless bullies, never in my life would I ever wish death upon children. But these. I can't describe how much I loved it when she finally snapped, causing those psychopaths to explode! And I'm not exaggerating when I say that they, uh, explode. And they certainly got what they deserved, in my opinion. The girl deserved worse than the boys because she was pretending to be Lucy's friend the whole time. Well, not anymore. <laughs> Compared to other anime that were mentioned, this one deserves our first spot because the bullying really is on a whole new level and the revenge was just as brutal and satisfying. Alright everybody, that's it for today. Don't forget to tell me your ranking in the comments section down below. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to hit the like button and definitely don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to support me, consider becoming a member of the channel and enjoy exclusive content that I make for members only. And as for now, I'll catch you later. See you in the next one.